Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. We're back with Death Note. Last Episode time, five. Yeah, last time on Death Note was the bus, right? Yeah, the bus with the criminal. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. criminal, and he Speed. saw he saw Speed, the monster. Man. This is my Speed favorite episode calories. so far. Yeah, it was pretty great. Loved it. Um, and I have, like I said before, no idea what's going to happen next. And he didn't die by an act. He died by a car accident, not a heart yep. attack. So yep. he shouldn't be able to trace it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And now he knows the FBI agent, but I don't want him to kill the FBI agent. Yeah. So I'm afraid that's what he's going to do. Sure. All right. Um, so we're going to get started with Death Note. Remember, you can always go check out the full reactions as a reward on Patreon. But if you don't want to do that and you want to just watch it for the 10 minute highlight reel thing right now, well, be ready. Get ready, get ready, sir. Listen carefully. I came to Japan as part of a secret investigation so the local police can't find out that, um, that I... I understand. I promise I won't tell anyone that I met you, and of course, that includes my father. Well, then, please excuse me. Anyway, I don't want the police to know that I've come into contact with an FBI agent either. If my father ever found out... There's no doubt he'd let Elle know. It's obvious that he doesn't suspect me. And as for the police, I'm sure they'll treat this as just another unfortunate accident. Oh man. <sighs> what a day. Ray, what's the matter? Something happened, didn't it? I've never heard you sigh like that. Yeah. The bus I was on got hijacked, if you can believe it. A bus jacking? Some junkie. And in the end, the guy freaked out, jumped off the bus, and got hit by a car. Did he die? Jesus. Yeah, probably. You know, hmm? it's a little hard to believe that that was all a coincidence, don't you think? What oh. do you mean? Think about it. You got on that bus because you were investigating someone, right? And now you're telling me that this criminal is most likely dead. Doesn't that suggest that you... That's enough. <laughs> You wouldn't get involved with the Kira case, and you wouldn't do anything dangerous. That's what you promised when we decided you'd come with me so I could meet your parents in Japan. You do remember that, don't you? Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just force of habit. Sorry about that. You're about to write down the name of that agent, aren't you? The one from the bus. Not yet. I'm gonna wait one week before writing his name. Why would if you write his name? If he dies right after meeting me, I'll only draw attention to myself. He's a good guy. I'll write his yeah. name in here once I've given them time to investigate more people with ties to the police. It'll be less obvious that way. Another victim. This one left what appears to be a suicide note. <coughs> Please, send it to me. <laughs> Gods of death. L, do you know? Gods of death. I've been using known criminals who live in this part of town to test out different killing methods, and I've learned a lot about the death note. For example, if I write a cause of death and the circumstances leading up to it, I can add a name afterwards, and it'll still happen. Ooh, even I didn't know that one. Mr. Ray Penber. Turn around and you're dead. I am Kira. That's right. Don't turn around or put your hands in your pockets. I won't hesitate to kill you here. It, it couldn't be. Do you see the man working over there at the coffee shop? That's right, the one sweeping the floor. I'm gonna kill him just for you. <sighs> I'm afraid I had no choice but to kill him. I figured if I didn't kill at least one person, you wouldn't believe me. Although that man has been repeatedly charged with sexual assault, he's managed to avoid conviction every time due to lack of evidence. I understand. Just tell me what you need me to do. I see you've got your laptop with you. I want the files containing the identities of all the FBI agents who came to Japan. But I don't have the files you're looking for. All right. Then take this envelope. Huh? First, take the transceiver out of the envelope, then put the earpiece in and await my instructions. All right. Now get on the Yamanote line. Inner or outer route. It doesn't matter which direction you take. When you get on the train, pick a spot in front of you and don't take your eyes off it. If I see you looking around, I will kill you. Once you've boarded, I want you to take the seat closest to the doors. If it's occupied, wait until it's free. How many FBI agents are currently in Japan? Speak quietly into the transceiver and don't make it obvious. I believe it's four teams, three agents per team for a total of 12. What is this? 
those 12 agents you mentioned, I want you to write down the name of your superior, the one who's heading up this investigation in the space at the very top of the page. Next, he left slots open in the paper and he's writing names in the desk. Any minute now, your boss is going to send you a message with a file attachment. Just it contains the names up. and photos of all the FBI agents currently active in Japan. Now, one by one, you're going to look at each photo and then write that agent's name in the space provided. You're going to do this for each agent. If he's got the names already, why use me? What's he planning to do with them? Looks like you're done. Now put the transceiver and all the papers back into the original envelope and place them on the rack directly above your head. When you are absolutely certain that nobody will notice you leaving without the envelope, you can get off the train. Kira, who are you? <gasps> well, did you realize that? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> he's dying? Oh, shit. <clears throat> really? As soon as he gets off the train, he dies. Like Yagami. Farewell, Ray Penver. Damn it. Uh -huh. Ironic. Without even realizing it, he was actually signing a death warrant for all of his colleagues. As for Penver's boss, he died of a heart attack after sending all of his agents a file. And the other 11 investigators? <laughs> They all died of heart attacks after receiving the same file. Jeez, man. Let's go, Light. Yeah. Well, you have a call from the director of the FBI. I've got a report in front of me right now stating that all of our agents in Japan are dead. All 12 died of heart attacks. I can only assume that Kira is behind this. Look, I'm sorry, but... It's already decided. We're calling off our investigation. Hell, I just got off the phone with the director of the FBI. According to him, it seems that you arranged for the FBI to come to Japan and investigate everyone here associated with the task force. Yes, I did. I find it unbelievable that you would spy on us. The very people working with you on this case. Hear that? Well, I knew all along we couldn't trust that guy. We have another victim. A note was found at the scene. L. Do you know gods of death? Love apples. Damn you, Kira. Think of your own lives, your families, and all the others you'd be leaving behind. If anyone wants to leave this investigation, now is the time. You won't be demoted if you choose not to stay. You have my word. It's a bit of a long shot, but if what I'm thinking is right, Kira could have been one of the passengers on the bus that day. And if that is the case, then I know that he's close enough to use this bus route. Hmm. Six Five guys. Five men, huh? Well, six, including myself. Still, I'm grateful to see that there are as many as five of you willing to risk your lives to face evil. The fact that you've chosen to stay means you have a strong sense of justice. I trust all of you. Huh? All of us have agreed to put our lives at risk to bring Kira to justice. So I hope you understand what this means. We're really sticking our necks out here. But you never have to show your face, do you? You just give the orders. <clears throat> Could you come here so we can all meet in person? The thought had already crossed my mind. After all, I did say that I trusted all of you. Okay. So they're gonna meet. Go outside the police. Why planning. is he seeking our help yeah. now? There's only six of us. He solved all these difficult cases by himself in the past, so what makes this one so different? There were a number of people on the task force who distrusted L before this investigation began. And once we got started, we had detectives resigning left and right. Following that, Classified information was leaked, so I'm not surprised that he didn't trust us. I'll be switching hotels every few days from this point on. I want you to think of these hotel rooms as the de facto headquarters of this investigation. If this arrangement is acceptable to all of you, then split into two groups. It's staggering your arrival, so you come 30 minutes apart. Gotcha. Kira, it seems we're getting closer to each other in equal steps. It's only a matter of time before we collide. If you ever managed to find out about these secret meetings, I'm sure you'd feel compelled to move in. That's what I'm counting on. 
It's unlocked. Please let yourselves in. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah. No. Damn. Damn it. <clears throat> Dude, I, I can't believe he just killed all the FBI agents. I, I was yeah. hoping that there was going to be some kind of justification that he did it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, even, all even, the, or... even the random guy sweeping stuff, he was like, has sexual assaults and he yeah. keeps getting off from him and everything and da da da. Like, it gave some kind of reasoning behind it. With that, it, I just. But he just straight up killed 12 agents that he hadn't. I assume he has no idea about them, right? Well, yeah. No, he can't. Like they were, he didn't know who the, he, he didn't, didn't know, know their names. names. He no. didn't know their faces. He made him do the dirty work for him. Yeah. yeah. He wrote in a book, he said he cut little holes in it or whatever. He had, yeah, he had, yeah, like, he had him the sandwiched. dead note paper. Because, like, we learned that if you write how they die and then add a name in the beginning, yeah. it is still works. So he had, like, how they would die, like, written on the paper. And then he had, like, a folder thing with little holes so that they would write the name in the hole. And then after that would have been how they died. Yeah. So yeah. because he used a death book, can he not go to heaven or hell? No, he, well, I don't know. He didn't touch it. He didn't touch it. Yeah, he so didn't he didn't take over ownership of it. But, I mean, he did write it. So I don't know how it works with that. Because you have to touch it, and then you get, like, you see the stuff, and I think that's... That was some ownership. risky shit. What if he fucking just grabbed it like this and, and yeah. touched it, you know? But, you know, he wrote it in. But, yeah, he's not a user, so I guess... Like, I was going to say, like, does he get to see uh, Ryuk or whatever? No, he didn't touch the paper. He didn't touch paper, so he He can't. touched, like, the folder outside of it. Yeah. So he never actually touched any part of the death note. All he did was hold a pen and write on the paper. With the guy's faces we'll be, in yeah. his head. What if he won like that? What, he had his that's, what, hand. that's what he was saying. Like, if what if he accidentally touched it through the hole? Yeah. I guess yeah. it was a risk he took. Yeah. But even still, like, I guess he doesn't care if he doesn't go to heaven or hell or anything. It's still just... What if, you put, done with what if you put that paper, you know, that yellow paper you put on top of other paper, and you write in it, and it writes in the, like a two copy thing? Like a carbon paper? Carbon copy stuff? Would that work? Is that officially writing no. in the death note? Because you're not writing on it, right? Not necessarily. Like you're not putting ink on it, but you're putting no. that shit on it, and that's the kind of writing yeah. on it. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think it would be. Okay. But I don't think it would count. Like before this episode, I felt like I was like, okay, well, light, light's a little eccentric, but he's mean good. But now after having that, I'm like, he didn't have any justification. Like, what they said, like, he's just a murderer now. Yeah. yeah. Like, he was a murderer before, but... Yeah, it wasn't like they it, were it on to like, him. It had justification. It was more vigilanteism kind of thing. I mean, he like, thought he he wants to become a god. God is absolute justice. Right? So, I mean, everything that a god says, oh, this is the right thing to do because I'm judging these people and they're dying. I want the world to know that there's somebody out there doing this. Mm -hmm. And everybody he's killed so far, I feel like, could fall under that, but not the FBI. Yeah. At, at least we haven't heard anything that would be them. He, Other uh, than the fact that they are helping trying to capture a murderer. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> well, and then also like his like comment of like these inmates that I've been keeping alive. You know, he already has like that god complex of well, like yeah, they're already here. Dead. Here are yeah. yeah yeah. I've yeah. been keeping them for my own like uses that I need. Mm -hmm. Well, he he said before like I think it was episode three or something like that like. He kept like fifty to sixty inmates and their names and images and everything just like on back burner in case he ever needed them. Yeah. That's how he was doing all the tests from last episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he was using from that that bank of people yeah. that he had already decided that he needed to kill at some point. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's no. I guess now I'm more for L side of it. Yeah. Before I was kind of yeah. like in between. I'm like I I see both. So Sides of this, I kind sure. of, yeah. but now I'm more on L and hope that they kind of catch him and stop him. Well, he's honestly, I almost kind of feel like I've been on L side for a while ever since he tried to kill L because he tried to kill him while he was on television. He yeah, killed that one guy. I guess that's you know? true. That was yeah. the first point of him like taking something. Like, L just... didn't do anything, you know, other than try to capture you, you ego fuck, you know? <laughs> yeah, we think of like what he said with his dad like, if, if, if he died, he would. Do everything in his power to capture him, make sure yeah. he was executed. Like that's gotta just be a bold faced lie, right? Yeah, I would well, say. Yeah, well, so. Why would his dad yeah. think like, well, sure, just some fucking kid? Or well, I, of... that might be a little bit of the uh, the loss in translation thing between you know him being in Japan and us being in America. Or could it be some kind of foreshadowing of like if he has to kill his dad, like he would make sure that he's executed or something like that? Like yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, because that's his dad. Yeah. If at yeah. some point, if, like, if, his, if you got to the point where you decided to write your father's name down in the death book, in the death note, 
Like, at what point would you say, no, I've become my own worst enemy? Hey, those other 12 agents had spouses and probably kids. And yeah, yeah. Fiance and they were just one pulled, guy, they were, you know? they were exactly like his dad, just doing a job. Yeah. And he killed him without hesitation. So, I don't know. I wonder if he's... I wonder if, even though he came with a scheme, if he feels better because the agent did it. If yeah. he's like got that kind of, you know what I mean? He's got the blow in like, his hands. I didn't kill the FBI yeah. agent, he killed him, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, he's coerced I... into it. I mean, it's the same thing as like kidnapping somebody's family member and making them rob a bank, and during the bank robbery, they kill somebody. Yeah. You know? In my head, he probably feels prideful about it. Yeah. yeah he's arrogant. So his plan yeah. and everything. I'm sure he takes credit. I mean, he had a smile on his he... face when, when the agent turned around and saw him. I can't believe he killed him, too. I thought he was going to let him go. Yeah, I did, too. That's why he was leading him to the hoops. But he did it. He had to write down that he died right when he got off the train. Yeah. That's such a crazy moment, though, of him, like, turning around and being, like, light. Mm-hmm. Like, he kept on, like, yeah, I know that voice. Really I know that voice. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, we also had the suicide note communication thing again. Um, and the sentence, I guess, finished. And it was, uh, L, do you know that gods of death... Like apples. Like apples. Yeah. I mean, he's giving him a cl- clue right there. Gods of death. Is there any kind of like mythology or something that LB would have found? Yeah. Search for it? Mm. Well, that's what he was concerned about in... Uh, shoot. The one where he was leaving notes and stuff. Like make, make, killing the prisoners and having them write notes and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was like kind of leading them towards stuff that... Uh, like the gods of death and Shinigami and stuff like that. Like... We were we were thinking like if he found out about Shinigami, would he know to look for a death note? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where it's gonna go with that. Um, I mean, it's not gonna help him out a yeah. whole lot, but if I mean, he sees somebody carrying around a death note, that's gonna be. That would be like if someone's murdering people, and you'd be like, "Hey, did you know Zeus threw lightning bolts?" I'm like, yeah. Okay, that's mythology for Zeus. What's that got to do with anything? You know? Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Well, there are lightning bolts striking people with attention. I might be like, "Fuck Zeus." Oh, he must have the power of Zeus somehow. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Know. I don't know if that's how you would necessarily go about it. So I, I'm assuming there's no time con- constraints when you write down the cause of death. And then once you write the name, right, then the causes of death apply to that name. But there's no, like, six-minute, 40-second limit or anything after writing a name that way, right? I mean, you have six minutes and 40 seconds of writing the information after writing the name, right? Yeah. So if you so write the information... If it's already written after it, then it's already yeah. there, so it fits within the time. Did you write, yeah. like, a 50-word essay or 50-page essay or something and then write the name? It's some unlucky fool. It was all this. detailing the death, and yeah. Like, if you do that, then you could have, like, predetermined deaths that you're just giving out to people rather than, like, thinking mm-hmm. first, like, how do I want them to die? It's like it's like having, like, a, like a death book like a death note like a death bingo having like yeah and being like um ooh, yeah ah this one this one's good for him you know it's kind of an interesting rule yeah it's funny i saw you, you trying to flip to that page and you <laughs> missed it and you're like oh no i, I want this yeah one. <laughs> if so. you, in, the, in that same sense though you gotta be careful with how you write it because you can't have like dates and then it goes past the sure. dates and you can't yeah. use them and stuff yeah, yeah. So. Times, you have to do like a time of day just, just having times could work because there's always another day with another time yeah. at that time so it's five o'clock somewhere um, what do you think of the woman? Yeah, like, the, I wanted the, to fucking get rid of I wanted to get rid of I, I thought I it do was too. crazy that right off the bat she was just like, wait, he died? Don't you think it's a little weird that you were on an assignment and then all of a sudden this bus got hijacked? It's almost unrealistic, she was well, it's, it's, Yeah, it's, right? It said that she was too. the best, one of the, the best. Yeah. yeah, so. I mean, she's just suspicious of everything, that. I guess. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that establishment really, it, it just seemed like a shot in the dark. You know what I mean? It's good instincts. Maybe. It was, yeah, it's good instinct, but you would figure, like, the best agent, like, there would be some kind of evidence that she found that no one else was looking at or something. Yeah. Or if he said, you're the worst agent, agent, I know why you quit, and then she figured out that I'd be Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. There, yeah, she should have had some she, reasoning for that. Yeah. I just didn't feel like there was too much of a reasoning for her to just take, the, I felt like it was a shot in the dark. Yeah. Okay. And now she's following that shot in the dark, and now she's like, oh, well, he must be near this bus station for him to have ridden this bus. Yeah. So, I mean, he just, they probably met at work, they got engaged, he's like, you gotta quit. And she quit, and he's like, you can't do anything, you know, if you want to be my fiance, you can't do anything dangerous. And now she stays home, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he got killed. I, I, feel, like, I feel like it's kind of like Calvin's, uh, he was like, 
What is she, Elle's sister? My guy's like a shot in the dark with no substance at all. Yeah. If it ends up being mm-hmm. right, it's just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, he was a, he was I, I would be as surprised as you guys. He was the best FBI agent of blood. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, Shane. I really wish you wouldn't do that, Shane. I know. Um, do you think they talked about children? I don't, I don't know if there's any possibility of her already being pregnant with her husband or fiance dead. But I assume thing. if they were already that traditional, maybe they weren't trying for a kid. Probably yet, not yet. You know, um, the father not quitting. I mean, like, and all those men there that like, that's. Would you guys quit? That's probably a good question. I think I'd quit. Yeah, I think if I were on that team, like, and all these things were happening, I wouldn't have quit when I was single. Yeah. You know, no, I would definitely quit. Well, I'm single. For one I'd thing. Quit. You'd quit. Well, live forever, though. Yeah, I'd quit. <laughs> For one thing, I would I would propose that as agents of the state, we would take precautions to protect our lives. So, in the same way of wearing a, a vest or gloves or something like that, like wear like Rorschach mask and not have photo IDs. Yeah. Just for this investigation. Like, Maybe you'd have to erase your previous identity somehow. Yeah, and they also have records of the cops they already and stuff, know I the think, cops. too. And right? Yeah. I mean, they're in their history and everything. If he just logs into his dad's information, he has a list of everyone on the, on the task force. Well, that's what I mean. Like, you, and then if you dissolve the task force, and then he doesn't know who is investigating and who isn't. I mean, at that point, he would just have to kill every investigative officer. In you say dissolve the task force, but... There'd have to be a task force still, right? I mean, have it all on paper rather than electronic. Something that that uh, Light couldn't hack into. Fucking hackers, man. My only thing about it is that the dude is a fucking supernatural killer. And I'd be like, okay, well, I try to take, take his precaution. I don't know what his rules are. He could just fucking find my name out because he's a supernatural killer. I'd be like, you know what? This I is mean, not my area of expertise. Call a fucking Vatican or some shit. I mean, at that point, <laughs> like, if they did go all paper... And everything, he would yeah. have to get the Shinigami eyes. Yeah, but what well, if his sure, dad yeah. just takes his paper back to his house, to his family, that he ha- if he trusts his family, yeah. and well, he just reads the fucking papers? That's also true. Like, I'm saying there's, I, don't think there's any... I think that's one of the reasons why Light is trying to keep his dad on the task force. And if you're all wearing Rorschach masks, like, the rest of the task force, the rest of the police station wouldn't be, right? Couldn't you just compare, like, well, here's the list of all the police officers... Well, these, where are these guys at? Yeah, they have these, police officers from all I mean, it's, look, all at the these place, right? task, yeah. look at these five guys missing. I wonder they, where they are. All they have walk guys around from town all over wearing the masks. It's like he would have to physically go to every, every police station for like a week and make sure nobody was on like paid time off or anything like that. Like it, it would be so intensive to try to get those specific names. I mean, yeah, I feel it like it's all at one, pla- one place. Though. As but they're, the, the officers are from all over the country. They assembled this task no, force. No, this is, I don't think these, these guys aren't, right? Aren't these all from we the don't know, station? We don't know who all is left, but they did have people from all over because they had, they had like 70 techs. Well, yeah, before, but I thought this was the Japanese like police like station that was um, doing the investigation from the start. I think this task force is made up from multiple departments. Okay. I think. I was... I, I'm gonna... I didn't think so, but okay. Yeah. Well, I, I don't multiple, think one of the... cultural... Like, one department doesn't have, like, 70 detectives. Right? No. Japan doesn't not, have 70 detectives? Not in one department. Not one department. Not one precinct yeah. of the Japanese police force. Yeah. Okay. I, I would... Like I mean, New York I, has, I like... I don't know Japanese like, well, hierarchy I, of, of that, Yeah, but me neither. To I me, it seemed like there's... It was multiple departments working together as a task force. Um, but but getting back to my original question, as soon as these twelve <laughs> FBI guys died, I'd be out. Yeah, because it's the first time truly that yeah, innocent he was people killing died. people. Even though the, the like before, you could say I'm protected because I haven't done anything yeah. wrong. But now it's like everything's off. Well, even though light. Tried to or Kira tried to kill the L that was on screen. In my head, I would have been like, "Yeah, but maybe he some you know supernatural shit. Maybe he knew that guy was a prisoner." Yeah, but if no one's gonna if no one's gonna stop him, who's like who's gonna stop him from not just me. killing anybody? Not me. Just not you. Not we'll me. Stop him from just killing you anyway. Yeah, I, 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 he'd, he'd be happy. I'm gone. I mean, I'm not gonna kill that guy. He knows his shit. So you, so you just run away? Ah! Yeah. You just run away too? Me? I don't know. I absolutely. You should too. You should I'm all not, run. I'm not, I'm, I, was, I, was, I was gonna, but you're 
just <laughs> pussy theories. <laughs> pussy theories <laughs> of just being scared of it. I can't. I mean, I, I'll, I'll fight you. Because we're a supernatural if, killer. If, if your thought is they can just kill whoever he wants, whenever he wants, what's to save my family? At least someone should hunt him down and get rid of him. I mean, it's and pretty just, obvious I'll that stay. he's going after people that are coming after him, right? <laughs> is it? Is that, 12, is that why he's 12, killing all the inmates? He killed the 12 FBI well, guys. That's that why he killed all the inmates. Him. Well, They're first, not coming after not him. What at I first, said, because... you said it's obvious he's killing people coming after him. He's well, also killing yeah, he's, criminals. He's, he's killed killing people coming after him. The inmates aren't coming after him, though. I didn't he could say just... that, Aaron. This is your pussy theory. Stop no, that. no, no, no. Stop I'm... that. Hang on, hang on. I know what you're. I know you're doing. What's to stop him from killing any fucking buddy he wants? Uh, the inmates are bad guys, right? The, okay. And the the big huge theory here is that he's killing people that are evil. He's trying, you know, right? That's the, that's the personification True. of this person. True, and now he's killed people that are And then there are evil. people that are coming after him, so he starts to kill those people. So he, has, I'm like, he doesn't get caught. So you yeah, have two sides of the caught. spectrum. Yeah, and I'm like, what's I'm getting... to save the inside of the spectrum, the middle? The, the fact that they're not coming after him. I'll put that's myself it? from yeah. the guys that I know he's killing, which people that are coming after him, and then the guys that I know he's killing that are evil. the evil people, and everybody in the middle, you're saying the entire fucking world is now? Like, okay, I'll, I'll go into the entire fucking world campaign and not in these two different ones. Uh, it's way more likely I'm going to be killed. Or, in well, either less likely. Those, yeah, but because if, I'm in, he, he the, if he... I'm in the other seven billion. But if one. you're still a police officer, you're still in his stuff, you can <coughs> take out all the police force, take out all the inmates, and now there's no one to stop him from ruling the world or whatever. Well, then I'm double Well, fucked. there's nobody to stop people from catching criminals so that he can find names and faces to kill. He just choose, yeah, eventually that's what you're gonna get to, and he's just gonna kill whoever def, like goes against him. Yeah, but there's so not gonna be any. Stop him there's now. not gonna be any yeah, infrastructure for go him to find those people. They're much better people than me. I will be the only this. person that will go against him. Yes. You'll be dead. No, I didn't say I was gonna leave. You did. I did not. He said Check he, did. he said he didn't know. So, so you just run away. Ah, yeah. You just run away too. Me? I don't know. He didn't know. He you you and that check the tape thing. It's because you're saying it's, it's, it's not true. <laughs> you you didn't you were uh, I don't know. I wasn't. Uh, to, to me, I don't yeah, think that me, don't makes know. me a coward to run from a supernatural killer. You said you'd never run from a girl ghost. That's that a supernatural the killer, right there. One. It's a supernatural killer. How do you know you can beat the fuck Ooh, out of it? This is a real person with a book, and you don't want to fight him. <laughs> um, N no, he can kill me supernaturally. <laughs> It's not him killing me, it's the death note. It's the god of death power. If that guy would've just turned around and fucking just punched him in the face, he'd've been caught. Tell you what, there was a Shinigami and a little girl ghost. You know which one I'd rather fight? The girl. Not that You're thing. not fighting a Shinigami, you're fighting some guy with a book. I'm just saying, it's that From one's power. 17 year old. I know. I would, I would fuck up a guy with a book. I don't know if I'd fight a little he girl. He did high school all the time. He'd be like, I read this, he'd be like, ah! Oh! You fucking <laughs> nerd, <nice? laughs> yeah! Yeah, he'd punch him. I don't know. I but mean, I, uh, for me... Someone's gotta stop him. Yeah, it ain't me though. I'm not smart enough. If I was an you, F, you probably, you probably. Well, would. like yeah, yeah, right I now, I would. Right. I'd run yeah, because yeah. if someone just said, "Hey, you want to be a cop?" I would, you know, oh. and try to find this guy and put on task force as I am now. I said, "No." But if I was an FBI agent, if I was single, I, I feel like I'd definitely stay on. Uh, you know, because these, these guys, I'd stay on with these groups. <coughs> yeah, you know I mean, if I was one of the guys beginning, I don't know. I wouldn't be. But I wouldn't be but in now, Japan in some secret investigation showing no fucking buddy my badge. But I'm, don't worry, I'm this guy right yeah. here. I mean, uh, I think I, I'd clearly stay. You'd let those people if I was the single. Die. No one's ever gonna die. But but if I was married, had kids, then I'd really be thinking about that a lot. Well, I think this would be a really really good chance for our viewers to tell us because or what they would think because this doesn't really pertain to any spoilers or anything. Would you have stayed? You know, not knowing any more information, we we obviously can't see now. Would you stay on the task force just with the parameters that we're talking about right now if you were an agent? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we should necessarily say, like, you know, if you're an agent in a different country or something, just on the task force in general. If you yeah. were Chinese, would you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I definitely what? would then. What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. You what would. The, yeah. It's playing off. And closer to Jackie Chan and genetics, and then I'd feel more brave. What if you were like a sumo wrestler? What? So go to patreon.com slash blindly. You can find that poll, and we want to hear what you have to think. Do you agree with uh, with my cowardice and mm -hmm. pussy theories, mm -hmm. or Aaron's rightness and just how fucking brave yeah. he is? And, and I wake up. Everybody looking at him like, oh, wow, <laughs> suck that guy's dick. <laughs> He's someone, Will. You, Wait, can find the, you can find the button what right dick? now.
My but dick! <laughs> button's right there. Go check out the poll. Why is there a dick? You can also subscribe so you never miss a Death Why's Note reaction. And if you want to watch the next Dream episode dick. right now, well, by God, you can. Patreon.com slash BlindWave. But wait two weeks for that result of the poll. Yeah. Why is there a dick? Why is you want so can. bad? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>